Hey guys, it's Meme, my trusty sidekick. Oh, Vinny is here. Welcome to Tuesday afternoon live show. We are so excited to have you with us today. If it's your first time being here, we are Meme Made It. And everything that you see used today in the program can be purchased through our online craft store at www.maymaymadeit.com. We've got a lot of cool things to show you today. Some announcements I'm pretty sure are going to happen today. And it's just going to be a great time. So, my my, what we got going on today? Well, we have to say that Shannon is not here. She couldn't be here this afternoon. Just it's that time of year, you guys, between school things and other things outside of here. She's good. And she was she got to be here over the weekend. If y'all don't know, she wasn't here last week because Noah was sick and she got to be here over the weekend. But everything's OK today. She just couldn't be here right now. So um, we're going to craft. Uh, and uh I don't know. Okay. I titled this video or I thumbnailed this video. I've been yes. dying to make it. Did you see my thumbnail? Die in. Yeah. I don't know if they're going to let me keep that up, but like, I don't know how else to spell die because it's a die. Oh, you afraid that'll get strong. Yeah. Like I'm afraid they're going to fuss at me, but we'll see. So maybe not. if they do, I'll change it and put it back up. But if not, I really have been dying to use these. Now we got these in several weeks ago and I haven't even gotten to touch them, play with them, study on them. Nothing. We have been so busy. And these are what they are. They are called the quilt top dies from Concord and Ninth. And Ninth, Concord and Ninth. And there are more of these, and there's more coming. Um, and I really like them. And I think if you have fallen in love with quilt cards, like I have, which is so much easier than quilting with fabric, I'm just gonna tell you, <laughs> and faster, you're gonna love these. I want to show you how they work, and I want to take a minute because. When you first get them, let me show you. This looks a little lackluster, right? Like I thought so too. When we ordered them, I was looking at this. And I'm like, oh, this is so cool. And then this came in and I went, mm, I don't know about this. This looks like a puzzle piece I have to put together. Well, it kind of is and it kind of isn't. So let me show you what you get. So the one we're going to play with today is the one that is called the pinwheel. I love a pinwheel quilt, but I'm I'm not. I'm not committed enough to do 150,000 tiny little half square triangles, but I don't have to here because I can do it smaller. But what you get, which helps whenever it's explained to you, is this. This piece is the size of your card. Let me show you. This is an A2 piece of cardstock. It is the size of your card. Isn't that cool? And you can actually um, run this through um, with a bigger piece. Like I just ran these through because I have these pre-cut that sit beside my my work surface all the time but you can run it through with a bigger piece and it'll cut it out for you too and what you end up with when you do that is this guy he's kind of embossed he's and he's cut at the same time you can see i taped them together because I, I used a smaller piece but he cuts those little stitch marks isn't that cool i mean this by itself is pretty like if you're doing a white on white card or tone on tone that's pretty in and of itself so there's that. And from what I can tell so far, all of these guys come with that panel, which is cool. OK, then you get extra cuts in this particular batch. You get this piece that is a larger square. And what's so cool about it, I probably can show you here better. This square is made to fit in this section of the quilt. So if you didn't want a pinwheel, OK, you could just cut bigger squares and cover these guys up and just have like blocks. And what will happen is, let me do it over here. What will happen is the white edge, let me put it here. This white stitched middle section will show around it. Okay. Now that comes in this one. But what also comes in this one is this. And look at this. I love this. Okay. You get two of these in this die set. Okay. All together. And each one of these cuts two triangles. Now in the quilting world, this square sewn like this is called a half square triangle and you cut it in half and open it up and that makes the quilt. But here what we've got is eight triangles twice. So we get 16 with one pass. That's cool. That's an abundance. Now it gets better. You want me to tell you how it can get better? Tell me how. That's tell what comes how. in this set. Okay. But through some research, I discovered that in this set, these guys right here, which also will cut you two, four, six, 12 at one time, these guys are the same also. So if you have both of these in one pass, we're cutting eight plus 12. Which would be 20. Thank you. That's how we were cutting. I could have done that one. You could have done that um, one. <laughs> but I think that's really cool that they can work together, right? So if you have both sets, 
pull this one out whenever you're doing it and cut them all at the same time. So let me show you what I did. Anytime I say so today, y'all have to type S-E-W. That's the game. The game today is so. All right. Now, I do want to, can I say something real quick? No, nope, you're, you. you're not allowed to talk. But I'm sorry. I'm still going to. Okay. We have 401 people watching, but we only have 135 likes. And for those of you that are seeing people say, I've ended the video, that just means they like the video. So get on the bandwagon and like the video with oh, us. Oh, now you're just trying to we'll get bandwagon fans. Well, I don't mind. You're desperate. I ain't desperate. <laughs> and if you like what you see today, please subscribe. Click that red box and and ring the bell so you'll know when we're going to be live or when we're going to be on, period. Now, I went back to this same pad. This one right here, have a holly jolly Christmas. It is so good for these quilt cards. Look at the um, patterns. They're small patterns. Do you see that? There's great solids. Do you see this? I love this I for the no quilt. Solids. Huh? Oh, never mind. Do you need me to show you one? Well, I mean, you can show me stuff that you think is a solid. Right there. Not a solid. It's as solid as I need it to be. Okay, That's let true. me talk quilting terms. So in quilting terms, there's darks and lights, or there's mids. I think there's high mids and lows, I think. So this would be a dark, right? And this would be a light. And you want to play with that, which this works in, in card making. It's good when you play with your darks and the lights. That's what gives your card some movement. When you play with a lot of the same thing, it doesn't do that. But I, you can call this a solid or not. Okay. All right. If you look through here. Oh, I'll keep going. Look how cute this is. So what I did for this particular one is I pulled out four sheets and I'll show you the four I pulled out. So I, no, not these two. I did not pull the, I did not use these two. Where are my other ones? Right here. I pulled out four sheets. Now guys, show you something. Don't do what I did. Okay. My first one, I wasn't thinking and look what I did. This makes me sad. Although would this not be the cutest window die? Mm. Do you see that? I just saw it when I looked on this camera. So now we not only have a quilt die, we have a window die. That is so cool. And technically, if you looked at your left hand and put that in camera, those could be doors. Little French doors. Little French doors. Oh, I like this a lot. I can see Ooh. me using this. And How did I come up with that that quick? Here, I, I don't know. You're firing on all cylinders. That's what it is. It's because you've been at the land two mornings in a row and you are fresh. Is that what it is? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> so... This is where I messed up. Y'all see where I messed up? I should have been more mindful of my paper. I was a little bit rude to it. I should have paid more attention and laid everything out neater. So on my second pass, I tried to do just that. And I went way down here to the corner. That was a lit. that might've been a mistake. I mean, they ca everything came out fine, but you can see how close I got to the corner, but I was trying to save more paper this way. So I could still, oh, I keep saying so. I could still get more. Bye. So I can get more here. I can get more here. I can do a half situation. I can get a whole one right there. So don't, you know, do what I say. Do not as I do and save your paper because I kind of did. I was not nice to those first two pieces. All right. So here's what we got now. It's just going to say so all day because I, I have a habit of saying it. This here. You tried to say it this then. I you did. I did. And I stopped myself. Yeah. This here is what I do is I stack my papers up and cut two at a time. For me, three or four at a time don't don't do well. It starts to warp really bad or something. I don't know. I just put two at a time in, especially when I'm using, you know, the thinner papers like this. <laughs> oh, no. Therefore, these are stacked on top of each other. <laughs> I'm crippling myself, y'all. This is crazy. This one, I will show you. If I do this number, you can see them separate. Do you see that? Just make sure whenever you um, whenever you go to glue them down that you separate them. Because if you watch me Thursday night, I think it was Thursday night, we did the little quilt tag that is extra cute. I'm trying not to say it. It's going to be a show of it. Um, you would have seen that I glued one down and then picked it up and my top layer came off. And so I ended up uh, gluing down the one I didn't want to glue down. Okay, now let me show you this. We can do a bazillion. I got to zoom because I want you to see this. Okay. We can do a bazillion layouts. And I'm thinking a bazillion might be accurate. Might be. Okay. Because you don't have to do the full thing. And what I mean by that is um, 
if we laid one of these guys everywhere that it was stitched to do so, I'm just going to kind of lay these out roughly real quick. If we laid these out, every little spot, I'm trying to be gentle because I want to, okay, there we go. I'll do it that way. You would get something like this. Use a different color. This one. So do you see how, I said it, this is a whole half of a square. Notice that? So if we, y'all gonna get tired of typing. I apologize. I'm just gonna say it. Y'all just live with it, okay? Live with it. Here, we'd add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in this square, and it would cover the whole thing. Well, duh. But it would cover the whole thing, and you don't have to do that. You can get creative, and I want to show you a couple of ways that you can get creative. Um, for example, maybe you only want to lay them like this. Maybe you just want to do something like this and do like a stripey situation. You could do that, okay? Maybe you wanted to, and I think this is really pretty. I want to show you all this because I did this earlier. So maybe you just want to take the red. For me, even, even in my real quilting life, when you play with darks and lights, it just looks so beautiful. Like whenever I'm quilting at home, I love when I have like a white and a, I love white and black together. Y'all know that about me, but because I love the, the graphicness of it. But look how pretty if you only pinwheeled. So it would be like, <laughs> you are going to get tired. It would be like um that I was laying down a red pattern and a white pattern, even though I'm not. Now look at this, because I think this is cute too. Now, if you come right here and you put in this peppermint stripe, look how stinking cute this is together. I practiced a little bit before we went live because I wanted to show y'all all of the kind of options that you have. This is a lot easier when you're actually gluing, by the way, because I'm just trying to teeter everything. So that's the square entirely covered. Isn't that cute? Even like that, it's a cute pinwheel, mm -hmm. right? So you just have to decide how you want it. And I have a lot of pieces to work with, so I can do whatever I want to with them. But I kind of like that whole only the red. I could I could mess myself up doing that, though. So I probably won't do that because I don't think I have enough to just do the red. But it might be cool to do a red and a black. How about that? Let's see how many we got. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, this little guy. I mean, every time I show him, he sells out. So I don't know what happened last week. We I, Actually, I think we got an order in since then. May have. <clears throat> just going to separate these just um, on the account of we can. <laughs> I'm learning a lot of new words, babe. You're trying some new phrases. I, I say that word a lot. I like the way you say so. So just relax and be you. cute. Okay. Um, We might have enough to do something cool with just those. Because I, I also have, I'll show you all this. I've also cut a second one of these. So if I have leftovers, I'm not going to waste them. I'm just going to make those to make that too. I didn't do any counts ahead of time. Let's just keep getting these apart and we'll see how far they go. Um, yes, Margie, I can see your comments. I don't know if I'm on all comments or top comments. So I don't know if I'm seeing everybody. Oh, wow. Miss Pat, there is no update on the glue press as of yet. Again, they told us December, so um, it's probably going to be December before they're available. And I don't know if it's early December or, you know, New Year's Eve, December. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Can you see this in the spring? This will be this with all the spring papers would be so cute. Look how many. I, oh, y'all can't even see my piles I'm making. That makes me sad. I'm sitting there making all these cute little piles. Look how many I've got. I mean, that's crazy, right? And I'm still, I'm still 
stacking them. I might have cut these twice, by the way. So that means I would have gotten eight times four, 32. Should I not do math on camera? Probably shouldn't. Was um, I wrong? I don't know. Eight times four? Eight times four is how much, babe? 32. That's correct. Oh, I was okay. Um, As far as I know, I will be able to ship it even though it's cold. Um, I don't know that the... Um, Ship what, babe? The uh, Nouveau glue is as sensitive as our glitter glue is when Here, the glue see, press this. comes. Can you read it? Is it too small? I, I don't know. Let's we'll see. All right. Let's see how far we can get with my plan. It does not say. With my diabolical plan. I have a question for you guys. If I said to you, this is going to, this is going to rat two people out. Okay. If I said to you, let me find a name. T. T. Want to help me with my diabolical plan? What is your answer? Do not answer. You didn't ask if me. If I say you to you. T. Let me find another name. Laurie. You want to help me with my diabolical plan? What is your answer? That's what I want to see. This is going to show you what the maidens are like. Okay. Let's just see. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to do a red one here, a black one here, a red one here, and we'll just figure out how things go. <laughs> so, oh, I keep doing it, y'all. I'm sorry. Let's just get a, let's get one glued down. They're all in. What are they saying? I can't even look up. Uh, let's see. Let's go back up to where they started. Barbara on Facebook said, absolutely. Liz said, yes. Terrence said, yes. Becky said, yes. Bug said, always say yes. When? Ooh, that was a good uh, one. Twyla said, yes. Deb said, I'm in. Jen said, for sure. Francis said, yes, sir. T said, but of course, bound to be fun. Are you seeing this Sandy pattern? said, heck yeah. Laura said, yes. KC said, absolutely. Did anybody say, what's your plan? Tamitha said, not at this time. Oh, Tamitha, no. <laughs> no, she was talking to DT, sorry. <laughs> Carol said, yes. Sarita Wait. said, sure. Margie said, sure. Helen said, I'm in. See? What did Is you it say? Helen or Helen? Helene. I'm going to go with it. Helen. Laura said, absolutely. What Linda did said, you yes. say, though, when I asked you the question? Do you remember? I'm pretty sure I said, yeah. What? How much trouble can you get into? You said, maybe, okay. And then I said, really? And you said, well, how much trouble can you get into? That's what you said. Uh, Shannon said, "What? what's the plan? Like, I was asking all my friends, okay. Deanna said, I'll bring the handcuffs. See yeah, this? That's okay. the scary part. Brenda said, I'll she drive. Y'all done gone a step too far. Brenda's answer was, I'll drive. Right? Like, let me Barbara get said you bet. what I want. The answer I always want is let me get my purse. And the truth of the matter is this. Vinny was right. Whenever I asked him, he said, how much trouble can you get into? Now, there's probably uh, people who would ask. You, I would know not good say well yes. that you can get in a lot of trouble. <laughs> no, I cannot. Hello, Pam Gothard kill Patrick. I cannot get in trouble. But do you guys have friends that if you ask that question, they'd be like, yes, let's go. We ride at noon. <laughs> ride or die, baby. Let's do it. I tested all my friends. You guys test your friends. I think it's funny. And it, and don't and just say, what's your answer? And then it's, you want to help me with my diabolical plan? That's it. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Y'all, there's a friend of mine watching on Facebook. Please don't ask her any questions about my past. Because oh she and gosh. I grew up together. So don't ask her nothing. You know what? Pam <laughs> wouldn't even throw you under the bus. She might. She might. I doubt it. She probably would. Too she funny. knows I'd tell her what would she say she if you said you want to help me with my diabolical plan? <laughs> She'd probably get in on it. Her and Tommy both be ready to go. You want to help me with my diabolical plan? Do y'all see what I'm doing? I'm using the white to my advantage to make these little pinwheels, which I think are super cute. Um, remember, I did not plan this out. So if I do this and you're like, we should change it, we probably should. But let's just be diabolical here. Let's just do it. 
Let's just see what we get. I may go back and add another color. I can, you know. I can do whatever I want. This was going to end up two-sided. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. It'd be cute. Pam said she would not throw me under the bus, but she's all about a fun plan. There we go. <laughs> I just love that. I said it. And I don't remember what my plan was, but I was like, Shannon, do you want to help me with my diabolical plan? And she was like, um, what is it? I was like, Shannon, that's not the answer. No, the answer is yes. I'm in. Yes. Now look up here, what I'm doing is copying my previous pinwheel. So you see where this red one lies and this is the bottom of this pinwheel. I'm going to mimic it. That way I know everything's lining up where it should. So I have that one there. And I have this one here and I have space for that one. Okay. But the top portion, I don't have room for. So we'll put glue here. And we'll put one there. See, then I'm going to come back in and do black over here. That's going to be cool, right? So red goes here. So I need to figure out which reds go there. So there I go again. The two I just did. No, no, no. The one I just did goes there, doesn't it? Let me think. Let me lay it out. I think I only get this one if I'm working out the pattern. That is correct. Right? Are you trying to do just one of each, right? Yeah, this is correct. We're going to go with it. Hey, Mame, want to help me with a diabolical plan? Yeah, glue it down. Glue it down. Don't y'all love puzzles? Like who, who does a Christmas puzzle? Who does a Christmas puzzle every year or so? I don't know how y'all do it. I, why did I just literally say so for no reason? This one goes here. We have, I had one out one time I did with the boys and it was so much fun. Do you remember that? Yeah. And um, we haven't done one since. And I was thinking it might be fun to have a puzzle out. Especially Thanksgiving. That might be fun, huh? Well, they always love it when you make them do crafts at Christmas. They and love it so much. Christmas craft is like the highlight of their year. Y'all just need to believe that. Just believe it, okay? You this is looking really it, cute. It might not be true. <laughs> Christmas craft has been famous in our family for many, many years. That's true. I think this is turning Speaking out. of many, many years, you realize that this is our 25th wedding anniversary. I do. And if you say it, people realize how old I am. <laughs> well, you still ain't as old as me. How can I have been married 25 years? I don't know. It's amazing. Feels like one day. Good try. I'm not, I'm not dumb. I can't do math, but I know what I should say about those kinds of things. There you go. You know the right answer. The right yeah, I might not those. know how many years it is. <laughs> that I might not know. Look, I'm practicing because I know Brother Jason's going to ask me in December. And it's going to be you that he asks. It won't be he me. He will ask me. Yeah. We do, um, every month, we do anniversaries and birthdays in our church. And on anniversaries, our music minister always asks the man how many years it is. Yep. And I'm grateful because I wouldn't remember. This year, I'd remember. So I've been practicing. So when he asks, I'm ready. What are you going to say? 24 25. years, Bob. 24 years. <laughs> That's funny. I really like the red and the black and white together. Is that shocking to anybody? All right. I got to figure out what goes here. Nothing, something, something. Okay. This is fun to me. Probably people are watching like, this is like watching paint dry. Or dry scrub. Or glue dry. The question is, what you going to do after you put all the pieces I'm together? I'm going to show you I got a plan. See, isn't that cute, you guys? Do you like that? I really think that's cute. Now, you could go back, okay? And you could do these guys. Let's put it with the black. This is where I was saying you could go back and you could fill in the whole stars. 
It's pretty cute too. What I love about filling in the whole stars, let me lay one down, is this piece that's left. Let me get that in there and get that in there. What I love about filling them in is this white piece that's left around it. In the quilting world, that's called sashing. And I think it looks really cool. That looks pretty too with that in there. I'm not going to do it. We can do it on another. I can do that on my next card. But I want to show you what my plan is for this one. So, I didn't mean to. Mistakes were made. Okay. How about that? I want to do some stamping for this card. So, I, I pulled out this stamp set. It is called So Perfect. <laughs> And I'm going to use this little guy, this square right here, the big square. And I may use some of these little half triangles, little half square triangles, because, come back out a little bit, because I want to decorate my little square. So here, this is my square that I made. And it. I want to tell you a, a tip that I think works really well. Let me find my, here's my um, ink. <coughs> little bit of a tickle there. Okay. It would be cute to do the sashing in a different color. Just remember... Um, you'd need to put a solid color in here. You see what I'm saying? Because you need to, um, the sashing is the background piece. This is the sashing, if that makes sense. So whatever you put underneath it. Or you could, you could be real fancy and cut all those strips out and lay them down if you want to. All right. So, <laughs> y'all are going to fire me. You're going to fire me. I'm going to take this little guy. And what you want to do with these stamps like this that have like, not a lot of support in the middle. What you want to do is lay them out and they kind of have a memory to them. They know the shape they need to be. So if you'll lay that out and pick it up, you're going to get a much better shot at a good square. And my trick for you is this. So this was designed to go on a two by two square piece of cardstock or stamp. I cut my square two and one sixteenth by two and one sixteenth. I gave myself a little bit of extra. You'll notice it too when I stamp it. Let me show you. I think you'll be able to see it. Another good tip for this is anytime you're stamping something like this, which is these little fine stitches, it's a good idea to use a positioner. You see that I'm not, but it is a good idea too. The reason it's a good idea is because you can overpress these little kind of stitches really quick. So I'm going to place that down and then I'm just going to walk around and kind of tap because I don't want to overpress my stitches. All right, and then we'll take that off. See, that's good. That's not overpressed. Y'all want me to show you what overpressed looks like so you can see the difference? So that's that. If you overpress, I had another little scrap of If here. you overpress, it gets kind of blurry, mushy, right? Is mm -hmm. that the right word? It looks like a blur. I had a little piece of scrap here. We'll use this one. So you don't want to overpress. Oh, Vicky fired me already. <laughs> I overpressed Saturday too in my demo. All right, ready? So if I put this down and I press, okay, that's one thing. But if I press, press, look at the difference. Now, you might like the super pressed one because they don't look bad. You might like the super press. Matter of fact, I kind of like the super pressed. So either way you go works, but I just want you to know what your options are, okay? All right, let's keep this out because I'm thinking to be cute. Let's get a sentiment. Here's another thing I like to do. So I know this is where my sentiment's going to live. It's cool to have um, these on the little sheet like this because you can lay them like this. And this says, I've got you covered. Isn't that cute? How about this one? You keep me in stitches. I like that one too. Um, I think I'm going to do that one. You keep me in stitches. And then I'll show you what my plan is. Let's get another block. Also, so if I put this on here like this, if you're using these Fiskars blocks, let me show you a trick. The block is actually that last grid. And after that grid, it starts to curve up. You see that? That grid, you have a little bit of extra right there. So when you're loading your stamps, you want to make sure that you don't really over that cross over that grid. So what I like to do when they're close is just put them on an angle, put them on a diagonal. Now, if that messes with your brain too much, don't do it because you do have to, you do have to step, you know, stamp this down straight. But I love it. And I also love with these keeping my fingers out of the way. I cannot get enough of these. They are my favorite blocks. I just think they're amazing. Now, I have not used this particular uh, sentiment, so let's test it. 
I'm going to do it again. This is what's called seasoning your stamp. You've probably heard people say it. Photopolymer is porous. And so when you season it, you're loading it up with ink. And that fills up those little holes. And that's what helps us to get such a good stamp, such a good image. All right. So I'm going to put this guy right here. You keep me in stitches. You know who this would be cute to give it to? Like if the doctor had to give you stitches. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Like, mm. thank you for taking care of my wound. <laughs> you keep me in stitches. Now I'm thinking it would be cute to add. I want to do the bigger one. Oh, the big one might be cute. The big one might be cute. Pam, be sure to tell Tommy I said, hey, enjoy your workout. All right, let's put this. I think I've got enough room. I probably should do another color, but I don't want to bring another color in, you guys. I'm just not about it right now. So I'm just going to keep with the black ink. Here's my ink, by the way. I'll bring this a little closer to me so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to put this right here. I think I overpressed. That's okay. Oh, that's cute, right? And then I'm going to turn it over and do it at the top, too. Cute. You keep me in stitches. Just about perfect. That's cute. And then... <clears throat> this guy can go somewhere on our card. That's really cute. And if you do it just right, you you could cover up one of these guys just like this. And then you don't lose the pattern here. That's really cool. And if you think ahead, because I didn't, you wouldn't put it behind there. You wouldn't waste those reds. Right? So you could put it there. <clears throat> you could put it up here. It's cute, right? You can go between them. And then... You get this kind of, I think I like that myself for today. If I'd have thought about it, I'd have put it right there because I think that's cute. All right. So I would foam this up. I would foam this up and I would put it on. I would probably put it on a black card base. Do I have any of that handy? Let me see. A black card base or Scotty? Well, Scotty's close. Scotty's right here. But I did not get any black card bases. So I'll go here and make me one. Just, it just so happens that you got some black card stock. Yeah, but I don't like to use this for card bases. My card bases are across the room. We'll do it. This Is it way. not thick enough? No, or it's you fine. Go get it? No, it's fine. I just don't like to use 12 by 12 to make card bases. It's just a thing. It's just a thing. But I will because I will use this. I don't waste paper. I don't waste card stock, so it's no big deal. What is this, 11? All right. You did good. I didn't say it. Aren't you so proud of me? You said all right. Aren't you so proud of me? I am. I'm so very proud of you. <laughs> Do you know how controversial what I'm doing right now is? Who just who just checked out? Who just went? I'm out of here. Did you see how she folded that card? It's it's funny. If you're in my class, it's funny because we talk um, about it. People don't understand. We talk about it. It's funny. Okay, now then let's get some Scotty, which I put over here. Here he is. Hello, Scotty. Oh, this could be bad. This could be bad. This actually might be bad. You got no scissors. I use my scissors out there in the big room. Hold on, hold on. Hold Wait. On. Yay. You're I the greatest. That's the right man. one, but I saw the piece. This under is the... great. You're the greatest. You're the greatest. Thank you, Christy. My dad is doing so much better. I saw him. Listen, y'all. This is amazing to me. So, um, Shannon and I went out yesterday to get um, some Ziploc bags. I'll show you what for in a minute. But we went out to get some Ziploc bags, and we were going to the Dollar General. That's what we say. And the Senior Connection is right down the uh, strip mall from the Dollar General we were going to. And Meemaw works at the Senior Connection on what? She must have been working. She had her name tag on yesterday. I guess she works on Mondays. She works and answers the phone and does that kind of thing. I don't thing. think she answers the phone anymore. Oh, well, she had her name tag on. 
I don't. Do they wear a name tag just because? I don't know. I, that might. Tina might know. Tina goes down there too. Sometimes. Anyway, she had her little name tag on. Well, when I got out of the car, I looked down and they were sitting in the parking lot talking. Me, mom, and granddad were. And they came walking up the thing and came into Dollar General because they were going to get uh, candy. She said, we're here to refill the candy jar down there. So granddad was standing there and I turned around and looked and I was like, wow, you look great. And he was like, I, I feel pretty good. I said, you really do look good. And um, he said, I, I can tell it. And Shannon said it too. She was like, he looks fantastic. They were going to Prattville today shopping. Considering. Daddy wanted to go to the bank. You hate when they do that. I do. <laughs> Not go to the bank when they drive so far. All right. Stay tuned, Debbie. We will be announcing something similar to that real soon. Is this a, this is a whole, this is a whole card front. I didn't pay attention to my size. That's okay. That's okay. Um, yes. As a matter of fact, somebody's asking if we're going to have a sale. You need, if you want to know about the sale, you need to be watching next Tuesday at this same time. Next Tuesday is when so you need not to be watching. Talk about it today. We're all, that's all we're saying today. Remember, we talked about that yesterday. Okay. Next Tuesday. Where did I say I was going to put this? The glue gun does have a trigger, but unfortunately, we do not do prepay uh, in the store. It is just, for us, it's just a nightmare to keep up with. I think this is real killed. All right. So it needs a inside, and you could do more quilting inside. I think that's really pretty, you guys. So easy. So easy. Uh, if we we just can't do pre-orders because uh, from some of our suppliers, I may order 300 of something and get 10 in. And so if I pre-order it and somebody gets, I mean, y'all know how aggravating it is when you put something in your cart and mama made it and you go to check out and it comes out because we sold out before you ordered it. That's what happens to us too when we order from our suppliers. Sometimes we don't get what we order. And so a pre-order is just too much risk. I'm going to try something. Um, I was talking to some of the day and, and they said, we don't do pre-orders because, and I went, oh, really? Neither do we. Same reason. Hey, check this out. You could take this guy and cut it apart. On the perforated line. And you remember that um, die we had that sold out that had all the quilt? We sold it out Thursday. I think it was Thursday. You know what I'm talking about? The one we showed the other night? Because we made the little tags? Yeah, I think so. Look at that. It's a single square. That's cute, right? Poke a hole, tag on the back. It's smaller than the other one, but isn't that cute? And you could do these by themselves and decorate your card with these. Maybe go down the card in this. I did something funny there. Look at this. What if you just did the corner of the card? That's cute too, right? And then you took this piece and you did the top. And you put your sentiment in the middle, that would be cute. That might be cute. I think it would be cute. Anyway, I just wanted to show you some different ways to use it. You know, so I said I started with anyway. You did. The whole rest of the day, I'm going to be afraid to say it. <clears throat> All right. So let's go back to the other one just so you can see. Because you're probably going to, if you got, if you grab both of these and you're wanting to make these mass production, cutting. All of those. I mean, look how many I have left. I can make a lot of cards, you guys, just from this is. This is um, four passes per sheet. That's what it is. Four passes per sheet. And you see how much we get. This is a fun one. Still a pile of them left for the next one. Pile of them. This is the other one. This is the one that's called the geometric. Um. I think this is masculine. If you're looking for a good masculine card, this would be cool. If you ink dragged 
some cardstock in like three different colors to give it kind of heavily ink drag so it'll feel kind of leathery. Have you ever seen this one? We've done faux leather before years and years and years ago. Or if you have a page that looks like leather, wouldn't it be cool to do this in like three shades of leather? And it it would look like leather. Wouldn't mm -hmm. it look cool? Yeah. I think that'd be neat. Very, very good for masculine. This is Concord and Ninth. And we Concord have these in, in uh, the shop. Um, totally off subject, Selena says, but did you make some nutcracker tags? We made the one that had that used the um the dye from let me think. I see you thinking. Sizzix, I think it was Sizzix alphabet dye. And we did the little N for Noah, the little nutcracker N. You could use it so many ways. Um, are you talking about the the meander set? Is that the one, Michelle? Are you talking about the crochet set? The crochet set on here? You could mix them. Why not? They're blankets. This is like a blanket. Oh, I didn't show you something. I got one more to show you that I forgot to show you sitting here. This one is cool. You know how we have the stamp that does the stitches? This also does, does this embossing. Let me bring this up. So the embossing that you see here, this does that. So what I thought would be cool about this is if you made a quilt card in one of our traditional ways and then you laid this over it and you um, embossed it in, then you wouldn't have ink. You'd have the stitches. Wouldn't that be cool? Pretty cool. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So we have that one too. All right. Dolores says, shh. She's at work. She's from. Oh, I missed it. I missed something. Hold on. Oh, will you do a tutorial with the other quilt die? I could. I can do a video on it. I would like, I think I'd like to do one with the, like the faux leather look. Do y'all think that'd be cool? Would that be a good video to do for y'all? I think it would. You I need a quilt card with a bee or a sunflower. I saw a really cute quilt card. I might could do that one. It was not quilt, but it could be quilt. It was like, because you know, a hexagon is like a hexi quilt is a big thing. Like it takes years to do, I think. Like I will never be making one <clears throat> because the hexies are about this big. So, all right, I'll try to, I'll do this one. I'm going to put this where I can get to it and remember to do that. That is, um, I'll do that with the leather. I think that would look cool. I think it would look good in Manly too. So all you right. had some stuff you wanted to show today. I want right? to, because we only have about 15 minutes left. I want to show y'all this. So if you missed open house, we showed these last year and you guys went crazy over them. So I want to make sure I show you this year too. In case you want them, what we do is we put the last bits of what we have left in the store of the Carmies. We serve these at open house and they go really well, but we had some left. And so I want to show you the ones we have left. This one, this pumpkin spice, I think we have like four. There are some of them that we have very, 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 very little of. Okay. <clears throat> but I want to show you these. So if you're going to pick up a die, you might want to pick these up. Now we're wrapping them in um, an extra bag this year. We didn't do that last year. We really didn't have any issues, but I'm just nervous this year for some reason. I don't know. So we're going to wrap them in an extra bag. So that way, just so you know, if for some reason they do come open and shipping, it'll all be in that Ziploc bag and it's a food safe Ziploc and we just put the thing in there and shut it down. So it'll be fine. But um, I want to, and I think we don't have many of the key lime. I'm going to tell you what they all are and how they work <clears throat> because like I said, and Jasmine reminded me, she said these sold really well last year online because everybody that couldn't come to open house enjoyed them. We added flavors this year and we did more than usual. We yep. did more. Um, <laughs> Tina said they're so SEW good. They really are good. They really are. Look how many we got now. We have a lot the more than usual. The apple cider was pretty fine too. Yeah. And I got to tell you about that too. There's a lot I got to tell you about these. So if you're going to pick them up, let me tell you some tips, okay? Um, one more, one more. We got a lot more this year than we normally do. Well, we did crackers this year too, which is really cool. All right, so let me show you. So when you're buying, this is a cracker seasoning. Do you see that? This is the kind of seasoning that you put on the crackers. <clears throat> it says... Thoroughly combined contents of this package was one and a half cups canola oil in a large bowl or a two gallon plastic bag. Add four sleeves of salting crackers, seal well if using storage bag, and toss to combine. Let sit for a few hours before serving. Store in an airtight container for seven days if they last that long. Haha. -ha. Perfect for party snacks and a cheese board. 
Here's what Sylvia told me. She said that these will go further than you think if you want them to. Their recipe is their recipe, but she, she put in the four sleeves, but she said that she could do even more than that because after shaking that four sleeves, when you got those and transferred and there was more in the bottom and you could add crackers to that. So you really can make this go further. Um, the other thing is I'll tell you from experience, I think they're better the next day you know, when the seasoning is time to get into the cracker, because my um, sister-in-law, Hannah, makes a cracker and she, I think part of her recipe is it sits for 24 hours before you serve it. But we have this cracker seasoning and I want to say we had one more that was a cracker seasoning. Yep. <clears throat> Everybody bought this. The garlic parm. I, every time I saw somebody with carmines, I'd say, which one did you get? I just like to know. So everybody said garlic parm cracker seasoning. So two choices, sweet and spicy. And um, Amber said this was not super spicy. I don't know how spicy it is because I didn't try the spicy, but she said it's not super spicy. So we got some of those available. Then let's look at the sweets. So for sweet things, we have very few of the sweets, okay? We have a few pumpkin spice. And let me tell you what this is. This is a cheesecake dip. You mix this with softened cream cheese if you want to make it a dip, okay? To make it a cheesecake pie, you mix it with softened cre cream cheese and whipped topping and sour cream, okay? To make it a cheesecake, you put in cream cheese, whipped topping, and a graham cracker crust. And then it says for a tasty parfait, alternately layer prepared cheesecake dip filling with whipped cream and fresh fruit. That sounds good. So the pumpkin, the pumpkin spice is um, cheesecake dip, the caramel chocolate fudge is cheesecake dip, and the cinnamon apple swirl is cheesecake dip. Now from the past, this one has been super, super popular. The cinnamon apple swirl, it was very popular. So there's that. Now the savories. Oh wait, nope, I forgot the key lime. Key lime cheesecake dip. Also, they say unless there is an expiration date written on the package, they don't expire. Because we contact them asking because we had people asking us that had bought them and hadn't used them and wanted to know how long they had. And it said they the company told us as long as there's no expiration date on the package, they don't expire. And let me show you. We did find some that had expiration dates. Shannon found them. Here we go. So like the cracker mix has an expiration date and it's two years from now or a year and a half. A year, over a year, little over a year from now. OK, so key lime. Then these guys, these are the hoedown broccoli cheese. This one was so popular the first year we brought it out. And this one can be a dip or a cheese ball, which is really cool. I love a cheese ball. I love a cheese ball. This one can be a dip or a cheese ball and it's caramelized onion. Also delicious. I'm sorry, Miss, Miss Super Klutz. And this one is Fiesta spinach. It was new this year, but also popular. Like, anybody loves a spinach dip, right? So it can be a dip or a cheese ball. Now, Miss Sylvia, when she serves these at Open House, serves them with pretzel sticks. Um, if she's serving a sweet one, she'll serve it with the little graham cracker um, minis. Or you can serve them with graham cracker, the little bears, right? Or just regular graham crack crackers if you want to do the sweets. And then the last thing, and this will go, okay? is the mulling spices. And here's what I want to tell you about it. This is the this is what you make your apple cider with the mulling spices in it that's so delicious. But if you read the back, you can mix this with cranberry juice, hot tea, or wine. So if you want to do a mulled wine or mulled cranberry juice or mulled tea, I think that would be incredible. But Miss Sylvia said this. She said, mix the entire packet with two quarts of apple juice. She said, what you were drinking at Open House, she mixed with seven quarts of apple juice. So she tripled plus this package and it was good like we all were drinking the cider and yeah, it was rich too it wasn't watered down flavored what, she used apple juice and she said she you can at least take it three times more than they said she said now if you want it super super sweet do exactly what they say they say but she said you can easily cut this down all right so those are available in the store while they last there's not a whole lot of them guys it's just whatever was left so if you're going to be shopping and you want to grab some up and if you if you order multiples, we're going to put them in like a bigger bag, too. I just wanted to keep them all safe for you guys. They're great for your Thanksgiving and they're great for Christmas if you're, or even um, New Year's Eve to do like a, a charcuterie with like a cheese ball in the middle. That would be good for New Year's. So I wanted to show you all those today because we did use those this weekend. You said we had announcements. I'm trying to think what announcements we had. What did you have the... Uh... The return stamps, did you bring those in? No, I did not. 
We were going to show okay. this Thursday night. Is that okay with you? Uh, I guess so. If you've been looking for a stamp, we had a big reorder come in. She just got it on the shelf, I think, yesterday. I think. So if you were looking for a particular stamp, they just came back. <laughs> um, what's the name? Oh, what did I say? What's the name of the quilt? This quilt pattern. This one in particular is called the pinwheel quilt top. So a pinwheel in quilting is when all of this is done in like a little circle and makes a little pinwheel. Any more questions? I do feel like I'm forgetting to tell y'all something now that you said that. But I'm sure I'll think of it by Thursday. <laughs> oh, the crackers were good. They were good. Those are Vinny's face. Yep. Speaking of, if you don't want to use crackers, use pretzels. Because seasoned pretzels are fantastic. Yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. You, um, matter of fact, Holly makes you those. She brought she you some. They're gone now. They're not quite gone. They're gone. They're gone. They've been gone. He loves seasoned pretzels, and you could do that with them. All right, everybody. No one's chatting today, and I don't have a whole lot to say now. I need to go start filming a video. I miss who makes the. I'm going to go die. Oh, Concord and Knights makes it. Um, so y'all grab the ones we've got. Yep, it is. Oh, Barb, I bet you could put that on nuts. Why not? Probably, I, know, I would not? probably cut the oil, uh, probably significantly, because when you're letting the nuts sit overnight, the oil from the nuts going to contribute. That's a good, uh, good point. So, yeah, I would probably cut that out. Not all of it, just some of it. Probably a good bit of it. Thank you, Monica. I like it, too. I think it's a fun one. I think it's a super fun one. Uh, Marnie, we might have, but we are digging out from open house and we are digging out. <laughs> and we typically do packages that on we get Thursday on night. Thursday night in the crafter after show. Um, if you have sent us a package, we are trying to get them processed for Thursday night. We had a backlog of packages and then we had um, craft Acropolis, which backed us up even more. And you know, Shannon, now we've had open house. Shannon wasn't with me last week and we were prepping for open house, so she couldn't work on them. And now I don't know if she'll be here tomorrow for sure. So it's just we're just kind of behind on all that. And I apologize, but we're doing our best to get those out to get to get them open and looked at. Tex Mix is a great idea, too. Y'all are so smart. See, that's the difference in a chef and a non chef or a put her together. -er. I just don't do it. You do, I don't do it. The pinwheel die that she just did is it the geometric die set, not the pinwheel die set? Maybe no. The one I just did was the pinwheel, and the geometric is the other one. This is the geometric. This is the pinwheel. We just did the pinwheel. Oh my gosh! The geometric is the one we talked about doing. Um, the leather the leather look, look. Mm -hmm. the faux leather. All right, Vinny, it's almost three. You want to say a prayer for us today? Sure. And then we will head out to our rest of our day. Let's pray, guys. Hey, God, thanks for today. Thank you for all your blessings. Thanks for this time. We can hang out with our friends uh, here on YouTube and Facebook. God, we just praise you for who you are, for all you do for us. I just thank you so much, God. I pray that as we come up on this season of Thanksgiving, God, that we'll be so mindful of the greatest gift ever given anyone was when you chose to allow your son to go to the cross and to die for us and to pay the price for our sin, to give us the free gift of salvation. Well, we just love you and we praise you. God, for those that are sick, those that are hurting, those that are struggling with whatever they may be struggling with, God, I hope that they will turn to you and lean on you to help them through whatever they're struggling with. I give you praise in advance for the victories that will be won through the prayers that are made today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That was something I wanted to say to y'all was thank you for your prayers for me on Sunday. I had a toothache on Saturday night that carried over into Sunday morning and it hung around. And so uh, Sunday was a little tough for me, but it's feeling better. Everything's good. And so um, I just appreciate your prayers and y'all allowing me to do that podcast style. And y'all know that means I just had to put no makeup on. So <laughs> <laughs> that's what that means. So I love y'all. Thanks so much for being here today. And until next time. Bye. Bye now.